This next young woman. The only thing that my mind goes back to is a couple years ago when she was on the Grammys. And I sat on my couch and I watched her minister. And I've watched her all the way back to I've been just enthralled by this woman of God ever since she was singing with the choir, you saved my life before I ever knew you. And I watched her process. She sang for the president. If I sat here and begin to name all of the awards that she's won, all the places where she had opportunity to compromise, I have never in the history of her ministry ever saw her stand in a secular venue and deny the Christ that is in her. She is to be, she is to be honored not because she's dead, but I believe in my heart of hearts. And Sheila, I don't have to say what I don't mean. I don't have to. I believe that she is to be honored tonight as one of the greatest female legends of our time. She is considered to be, in my eyes, like the Barbara Streisand of the African-American gospel singers. She has been an example behind closed doors as well as on major platforms. She's a woman of integrity. She's a woman of character. One of the sweetest spirits I've ever met in my life. And today, when I was on my way here, where's Sister Gwen and said, you got my package? I wanted to do this. Because on behalf of sisters all over America in Christendom, I'd like to stand tonight and place honor and tell her thank you for not letting us down in your character, in your singing. I know that you've been talked about. I know you've been mishandled. I know people have stolen from you. I know they haven't paid you on time. I know that behind the scenes, you've gone through a hard time, but you did it with grace. And we thank you for being an elite woman of God. In my eyes, you're the Jackie Onassis of this nation and gospel music. Please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as we honor and welcome the honorable legendary Yolanda Adams. Everybody, come on! Follow your example. All of us up here, even me with my singing like my grandmother and my voice shaking. It's been a long time since we look at people and say, I want to be like that. And there's a lot of us that stands on this platform as your little sisters in Christ. And we're so honored to even be named among you to be on this tour with you. Because all of us don't really consider ourselves, you know. But we just want to tell you that we look up to you. And we just thank you for showing us the way. And um, we want you to just take your liberty. And this is your moment for you to release out of your heart whatever God has given you. What can I say about you? Your class act. You a class act. You got it going on. For real, for real. You the real deal. You are the for real deal. Come on, put your hands together for our sister.
I was taught from a little girl on that when you love God, he makes everything work out for your good. All I've done is do what I was supposed to do. All I've done was love. Yes, they have talked about me because I hang out with people like Sheila E. and I hang out with people like Kelly. But God told me that it wouldn't be the same with me. He said that I'd have to show his love to folks that the church thought were unlovable and unusable. Folks like little Kim, who I pray for daily. Folks like Mary J. Blige, who can call me anytime. Folks like, you know, just, just the, the folks that you don't think are God's children. Watch how you treat people. Watch how you treat people. My mom and my grandmother taught me long time ago that all of us on this earth, every one of us, including Saddam Hussein, was made in the image and the likeness of God. And whenever you do something to someone else, you're really doing it to God because what you're saying is, God, what you made ain't worth nothing. I don't want nobody to ever say that I ever treated them any other way than a godly way. Because a few years ago, you would have never been able to see all of these women like this on TBN sharing the love of Jesus the way we are. And let me tell you something else. Let me tell you what God gave me over there, and I really am going to sing. All of the stuff that we're doing right now, it was in us before the foundations of the world. This is nothing new. This is it, but it had to be in God's time. Because see, when God's time happens, that's it. Man can overstep God's time. It's just like fruit out of season. Fruit out of season will kill you. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you sick. So trying to step out of God's time, doing your own thing, your own way, it'll make you sick. And you'll still have to come back to the throne of God, repent, and ask him to bless you all over again. Then you have to learn the lesson all over again. Then you got to pass the test all over again. Why not just say yes, Lord, right now? It's not me. It's never been about me. Never, ever. Because I was the least. I've been talked about since I was 13 years old. But God was preparing me for such a time as this and to have tough enough skin to let the remarks and stuff roll off my back, but have a tender enough heart to pray for those folk that were despitefully using me. And I know that he's only a prayer away. Pray for me, you guys.